<sighs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Time to play some morning music for everybody out there who's just getting up and uh, after last night's events um, I got some sleep feel pretty good so uh, let's get inspired today again well the reason why we're getting targeted is because we are media and we are the media that doesn't need to be censored doesn't need to be blocked it speaks the truth, shows the truth, and has the ability to expose the truth. That's why we are true media. Alright guys, we got some more drones in, I got my drone pilot Rihanna out, she's going to test out the new zoom cam, we're going to try to get across the other side to uh, get the other drill pad, and as far as for me, I got more evidence against all those people out there. I got those pictures will always be hanging on the wall. Should I did? A good friend of mine, he does this stuff. There it is, guys. That's the kind of music that gets you pumped, gets you ready today, that gets you uh, prepared, because you'll never know what you're going to go through as an indigenous reporter. So, they have arrested two more? Let's see. No, but we do have a uh, crucial, crucial, extremely crucial evidence. But uh, I'm not going to give it out just yet. We're going to look through it first and listen to it first. Of uh, the other terrorizer from the, from the hotel. So, uh, just want to give everybody here a good morning. And uh, hope I didn't mean to scare anybody with after last night's uh, chasing around. And uh, 
those guys too is pretty crazy. Pretty, basically, they're just a bunch of young, you know. They're just, they're, they're just. That was a a tribe called Red. Everybody should know that song by now. For me, that's like a, that's like a, the Dakota Access Pipeline. Um, that's my that's my song I play when we're about to battle it again. Do I know if they're drilling? If it's true, I haven't been out there and heard it. But most likely, most likely they are. You know, this pipeline. I believe this pipeline is gonna go through. You know, it's gonna go through. But. Right now, I think the real battle. Oh, no, that's not why. It's gonna go through, but you know, right now, it's not a physical battle. We cannot even go over there and physically try to, you know, non-direct violent action them anymore because they have um, they have um, insurance. So if we do do that and we cause, you know, them to stop and basically if we go over there and do non-violent direct action they have insurance and everything they've lost so far since we've been stopping them they're gonna get it all back so I'm not too sure if they're digging yet but I can ask people around if they are and one more thing too is look at this all those trolls that were up late last night chasing us they must still be sleeping in because there's no ha there's all nothing but hearts on this one but you guys are right though Thank you for um, giving me all those troll intels last night because we looked into them. Those are all the people that were pretty much right there. And some of the uh, Morton County um, law enforcement, um, they had trolls up in there too. And some of them were even watching the whole thing as it was going on, even as we reported them to the, to the police and we were trying to get the police to come out. You know, I'll bet you anything that those police were just sitting right there along the roadside, you know. Watching, pushing in, pushing in those angry faces, pushing in those angry faces, pushing, you know, they probably were. That's because it's the honest truth. I know a lot of people say that I can't go out there and antagonize all this some a little bit, but we have to do just a little bit, just to have a little fun. I mean, come on. You know, but that's why they're, apparently that's why they're after me. Because of, because of the sources I have and it's because of the followers like you guys. All you people out there that um, stay tuned and, and share my stuff and believe in what I do and and fight for what I fight for and stuff, you know, and and I love all you guys, man. All you guys. All you guys. No angry faces because they're still sleeping in. But um, we're slowly, slowly keeping them track. Thank you all of you guys for giving me all those live feeds, um, snapshots, and for all you do. And um, it was pretty terrible what the cops said, you know. It, it just kind of punched a hole in my heart, but then uh, I thought about it and I said, you know what though, it's, of course they're gonna say that. Of course they're gonna say that. All this all started out because ever since Trump, they knew Trump was gonna be president, all this hatred came out of nowhere. And of course, who are all the inheritance of Bismarck Mandan? Who are all the inheritance of Bismarck and Mandan? They're all family tied together. And all these family members didn't want that pipeline north of them, right? All these big families that are in Bismarck. I know some of these big families because they all used to come down to Prairie Nest Casino and have dinner. And we used to, um, you know, I talked to them. But now, Dapple has corrupted them. So now they didn't, they didn't want that pipeline north of them. No, it's gonna drink our water, it's gonna poison our water. What did it do? Of course. They went below them to Stanero Quiz. And now they're like, let's invest in the pipeline. Let's invest a lot of money in this pipeline. It's down there, it's all good. You know, we'll still eat at the Prairie Nest Casino, but yeah, we'll still, we'll make some money off that pipeline. So, we know that. I know that, and I feel it in my heart that in my indigenous eyes see that. Some of those, uh, some of those fat big family members in Bismarck, they're tied into this. Not a little bit, a huge bit. And it's all tied in with law enforcement, 
Morning, Cali. North Dakota, all the way to the government. It's a big, giant, like, evil shadow of corrupt. And of course, corruptness is everywhere in the United States, you know? But this is a special kind of corruptness. This corruptness is, <clears throat> it involves a lot of people. Huge, rich families in Bismarck that support this pipeline. They wanted to go through is because they all tied in money in it. Now the law enforcement are also tied into it too, but not entirely all of them. Not entirely all the Morning County law enforcement. There is just a little tiny bit of law enforcement that still stand for the good, that still stand for their badge, that still hold and still respect why they are a cop. And they believe in protecting the people and they do believe in protecting from and doing what's right from wrong and for that my heart goes out to them because they they know that they see that there is good people such as me and such as all you guys on social media and thank you for all those law enforcement that never ever jumped in or swam or even dipped their feet into corporate greed and um, you know, all that bad stuff that you call corrupt. And also, like I was saying, it ties into even the people that they arrested. They use them, they're puppets. All those criminals of Bismarck that have big long rap sheets, longer than Santa's list because they were naughty one million times. <laughs> but everybody's corrupt. But it goes down to all those, they use those criminals to get what they want and put them where they want because they have all these rap sheets. If we're going to do this, hey, you need to get that done, otherwise you're going to, we'll push, we'll push you. You guys all know it, come on, you guys all know that we, you've seen it, it's in the movies, it's in, it's in real life. They push these guys what they want to do. Otherwise they threaten them with, you know, dropping something on them, putting something on them. And, um... The dapple workers, as far as the dapple workers, there are some that are um, just pure evil. They're out. They don't want, they don't like natives. I'm, I've seen the profiles myself. You know, they're into motorcycles. You know, they're, um, they're into that uh, patriotic stuff. They're into guns and weapons. They're into all that stuff. They have that, that, that image mentality of, you know, Trump and you know, all the way down to the way their heritage, their their ancestors, and you all know who their ancestors are. And they totally hate us. You know, they diss on natives. You know, they try to call it they try to say that all conquered all conquered people should know who to bow down to, you know, but you know what makes them that right to say that? You know, this is a country of freedom. And sometimes when you when some certain people say that country is freedom, they get used to that freedom and they start misusing and thinking about their freedom. Then their freedom starts manipulating them to say that we have the freedom to say and do and conquer whatever and, 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 and overrun whoever we want to. No, remember guys, that freedom has to be equal, equal freedom. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't, like I said, you, you don't have to enforce your freedom. You just accept it, you share it, you know it, you understand it, you feel it. You could touch it, just like all those hearts right there, you guys, all those hearts. And uh, my message is to all those people, and I've been studying them. It's hard work to do investigative reporting on social media. Some of them just make quick Facebook pages. They've been probably because they know we're around and they know they wanna fuck with us. So they quickly make one, just make up a quick name, boom. And then they don't have nothing else, just to get online, just to chat it up. But some of them left all their personal pictures, their their um, places they stay, who they like, what they eat, what movies they watch. You know, so we know who you are, just like you know who we are. You may you might want to make more better movies, um, and you gotta get your own original ideas. You can't be copying off horror movies. You know, come on, you gotta be original, indigenous original. You can't just take something and try to make it yours. Uh-uh. Because 
<clears throat> yes. <clears throat> I might have... I just want to say this. All this wiseness, I want to give it to you guys. And a message to all those people out there that want to always try to antagonize us, um, harass us, threaten us. You may threaten us through social media. You know, but you really got to open your eyes and look, at, open your ears and listen. Listen. Because this ain't going to get any better. You guys are talking about you love your freedom. And this is the country you love. Then make it better. Quit passing that hate. And show more of that love. I've seen some of those personal profiles where they, they talk about hate. They talk about all this. But yet, when you go to their videos, you look at their videos and they have, pictures, they have videos of them and their family. Showing that love and unity in their family and singing happy birthday songs. But yet, they still continue to have that hate come out of their heart. Now, see, you guys do have love too. All you trolls out there. <clears throat> you know, don't let Dapple, don't let this situation turn you into an evil person. Or make you guys do stuff that you don't want to do. We're all people here, guys. We're all people, just like us down here. Don't be scared to come down here. <clears throat> And I remember looking at some of those profiles. I do remember seeing some of you guys in Prairie Nights Casino gambling away, having fun, getting entertained, you know? So, yes, we are all family and we are all one. Yes, black hearts and souls is how they live. They feed off the evilness. Yes, they do. So remember now. If you're going to feed off anything, feed off love and feed off inspiration, feed off prosperity and feed off all your good values in life, you know. And I know they all have children. They have children, all of them. But back to the whole part of this whole organization that's corrupt in North Dakota. Here's North Dakota. Here's the organization. And here's the one little tiny piece that connects everything. What it is, is it starts from North Dakota. They all invest in this pipeline because, like I said, the pipeline Balkanfield is the new Black Hills of this time. And they all want a piece of that oil that's coming out of the ground. And they all want that because everybody in this day in society, money is survival. Money is survival. I can understand that and I can accept that. But we got to do it in a good way. Not take and conquer and hate and destroy and kill. Nah. There's ways to prosper with love, unity and, and you know, and blessings. As much as you guys probably listen to my life, you just sit there and you probably just laugh. You laugh, 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 but I'm glad I'm entertaining you. You know, I really am glad I'm entertaining all you trolls out there. Trolls. Terrorizers. Patrol. They're terrorizing, they're patrolling. Put that together, you get a troll. So. I'm just reading some of you guys' quotes. Oh, I've seen a good quote. Someone put a quote in there. Let's see. Did you? <laughs> this reminds me of the Daniel Day Lewis movie. There will be blood. Nasty graphic, but wow. All right, guys. I'm going to do another live feed later. And um, God bless. Pray for everybody out there. Thank you. And I'm going to get ready to head out of here. And, um, Peace out, guys. Stay tuned. I'll probably be popping in live feeds all day. Oh, there goes a the troll. Well, we better head out of here before they start look all coming. Hey, remember, you guys, tagging trolls. You know what I was thinking? Maybe before we even, um, for another option for the trolls is to get it out more, <clears throat> is tag their link up to their Facebook page and just copy, paste, and spread it out first and then tell them to block it. Until it's spread out enough, then you can block them. Don't block them, then do the link. I don't think it won't work. So try to link them 
So we could cl I already cl cl click that link and it will go to their page and then we'll either block them or look into them. Because trust me, all these people here, these all of these, it's like this. All these trolls that we've been collecting together are very interesting characters. We got people who own businesses in Mo uh, in um in Bismarck. They're um they're trolling. There's certain individuals that have businesses in in there, and then below that, or around them, are like either their family members that hate us, and below that are like all the young generation kids that you know they're probably either really supportive or they're just about trolling because they want to be badasses. And then below that are like the the, the older generations that are against like the grandmothers or or the, or the women with children. And then above the people of Bismarck are the law enforcement, the pro dapple, the back the blue people. And then above that, between those two, are the criminals they they control and the law enforcement that patrol them. And then above that, there are all top secret people like. People who, um, let's just say those are good and bad people. There's trolls. There are trolls that are good too. There are trolls that are good. And above that is a higher level of all the people, top secret people within the government um, that are trolls too. And I've been catching my eye on this. I've been keeping my eyes. They're, they're, they reach out like this. Here's a branch of all trolls. There's a branch of all military, army. Uh, Marines, National Guard, Navy, they're all infiltrating as trolls, but I noticed that they have those backgrounds, so it's mainly all the military. Of course, when you're born in the military, you're born to, to kill, you're born to uh, control, you're, you're born to um, have destruction, you're born to, um, you're born to have, um, put fear and use force. Here's this one, now there's other ones, the branches of like the government. From Pentagon to the senator to the governor, then below here you got all the law enforcement. Within the law enforcement, you got the sheriffs, you got the uh, um, the criminals within that. Then here, of course, like I said, you got the very like the people of the city, man, and Bismarck. You got all the like the rich people who invested in this pipeline after the fact that they moved it down south. Then it goes on within there, within their kids and their kids and their friends who are somehow you know, some of those kids like might like snowboard snowboarding or they might like snowmobiles you know what I'm saying they're all tied in and then of course here here's the sad one they're not necessary they're trolls they they um they act like this like they're water protectors or they come from a reservation or within one of our small towns and um those are the trolls that want to get insights and in all the indigenous people here but and then within that a small section of it is where it's true and honest really legit corruption that is within standing rock sioux tribe and it is sadly to say it's within all indigenous tribes and that's where it hurts us the most to actually feel that there is people against us they're not physically forcibly like trying to you know target us like these other people like pro daps and the government and you know law enforcement they just they just they're not targeting us they're just it's sad to say that they are against they are against what we say but they don't say it they don't need to it's a small res we all know <clears throat> but there is corruption within standing rock and um it's not corruption it's sad to say that they couldn't stand up to this corruption you, to stand up to this corruption, you gotta have that strong heart, that really strong heart to where you can have a million freaking dollars right in front of you, and it's yours. They're trying to say it's yours. It could be yours. You gotta think and you gotta say, no, it's not ours. I can't take that money. I can't do this to my people. No, there's already some trolls coming out. But like I said, stay focused. Those trolls' messages do not mean nothing. To stand against corruption, you gotta have a strong, strong heart. You gotta understand that there's gonna be a lot of situations just putting on your shoulders like this, pushing you down, pushing you down, pushing you down. But you gotta push it back up. 
Because this the world. The world is so big. But in your mind, you got to think about the world can be right here in your hands. And you don't have to put it on your shoulders and carry everything on your shoulders anymore. You can have the world like this, but not for your taking, but for your for your, you have it in here because you're protecting. And you can have this world and put it in your pocket or put it in your heart. You can have it anywhere. <clears throat> but to all my indigenous people out there, um, I know corruption's hard to resist. I know money is hard to resist. I know that because here we live in, sadly to say, you know, on below poverty levels and above poverty levels below like this. And that's why, you know, when money comes, we take it and we spend it right away. You know, but I've learned something, these, this whole thing. I've learned something that's taught me a lot of things is money don't mean nothing. And I noticed that, you know, like, <clears throat> from all my indigenous brothers and sisters, you know, this is money. That's the guy that put his face all over this corruption first. You know, not only it's one dollar bill, but, you know, when people need money, I, here you go, have it. You know, all of this stuff money. I see some of my brothers and sisters that are short a buck or two. You know, here. It's money. Help each other. Money. You know, this is what we need to burn. All of it. But, you know, it's just money. It's paper. I don't let it control me. I control it. You know, so, don't let money consume your hearts, guys. All you people out there, everybody from the council, everybody that has all those million dollar um, GoFundMes, don't do it for the, for the money. Do it and use it for the protection of your people, not to buy materialistic stuff. Don't go out there and buy yourself a big truck. Look at me. <clears throat> it might say I might have that much money in my GoFundMe account, but it's limited again. It's because I've been utilizing it for the survival of myself and to the people that need it the most to help with this media and to help to get all the true, true, um, the truth out. So, oops, hold on, guys. I think we have some more evidence coming out. I don't know. It should be popping out on social media, but... 110%. The second terrorizer that was at the motel, the one that was on my right side of the window, he's gonna be going to court next. And if he might get out too, just because he might own all that stuff. All right, you guys, I'm gonna cut you short.